I knew you wouldn't abandon me. Wherever would a man of low morals auction an ill-gotten prophetic skull? I know just the place. The black market. Need some tools of the trade? I have something for all your nefarious needs. Nothing catches your interest? That's too bad. Eggs. indoor jobs. <laughs> well, this beats being a <laughs> freak. Come on, then, let's see it. See what now? The Oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Well, I didn't bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in there. You know, I hadn't seen it, sweet. It's stashed away. Nice and safe. It's to grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your hey, stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. <coughs> Lenny, not the first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. How's a man to open a door? The handle keeps moving round. Is anyone listening? I need a flame. Uh, who's that? You can hardly see straight. I must need glasses. <coughs> Come for me. <laughs> the old crew back together again. Rocks, Teats, how long's it been? About three hours by my reckoning, Lenny. But huh? oh, time just slips through your fingers, don't it? Let's drink. To old acquaintances, right till the bottles run dry. Forget pipes now. Anyone got a match? This tastes quite peculiar. What? Is it vintage? Nope. It's the one you pissed in last time you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a light, boys. Give me another swig to wash down the last one. What's going on? I'm bringing pipes on fire. I wanted a blaze, don't you? Just be 
down your pants. They're not choosy. <clears throat> ah, who's that next to you? Your sister? We could all get introduced. Get off, will you, Lenny? I'm scaring away my real customers. Come on. <coughs> Where, where'd she go? Rosie! If you wanted me to go... You could have just kicked me in the hammers like you usually do. My silks are covered in shit! Lenny! Lenny! Some girls would charge extra for what I'm going to do to you when I get out of this mess! <coughs> Someone's licked the frogging gate. Locked the frigging gate! Right. <coughs> Maybe I locked the frigging gate. Turn my hammer pouch. It's already itching the wrist and dislaying the rash. Itself. But he finally led me back to his gang. Lenny, you better have found a buyer for the crap you keep coming back with, or you'll be going swimming with it. But I can't swim. That's the whole point, you idiot. All those boats caught peace. up in the lockdown, and you live from the circus wreck. Who's gonna buy that shit? Reminds me of your grand idea when you broke into the taxidermist place. Did I ever tell you when I was a god at Duke Thornburns? That old bastard collected stuffed bears. Got surprised by one once. Took a stab at it. Lenny, the merchandise. What's your plan? Ah, uh, yes. Made a deal for the skull with Robbie Box down at Stripler's. I'd be glad to see it gone. Creepy things, Skulls. You ever think about how we're all got one under our faces? Wow. Trickster, help me Lenny your one dumb shovel. How much? How much what? Coin, Lenny. Coin. Oh, uh, we need to borrow some change. Thing is, Bernie, I'm kind of short right now, you see. I'm a worry on a mill wheel. How much coin did Robbie Pox offer you for the frigging skull? Ah. Oh. Good coin. Good coin. 
tested it with my own. Bit down on a gold piece once. Not wrong, really. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to bury you in a ditch and death. Your mother, if you don't pay attention. Don't talk about my mother that way. Big family, lots of us, six boys. Mum was a tower of strength back then, breastfed every one of us. That made us what we are today. It explains a lot more. Likes her liquor, does she? Ah, we all do. Mother of the family. I've had enough of this. Finish your drink and then go spit and shake on this deal. sleep tonight. This does look like it belongs in Vittori's act. Except the skull's genuine. The stranger you will meet and see. We tall and dark and handsome be. <laughs> what did you just say? <coughs> what? You just said I was tall and handsome or something. I heard you. What? That's the first nice thing you've ever said. Looks like Basil's got competition for the biggest mouth in the city. I trust him to tell my fortune more than this thing, though. <laughs> 